Hey YouTubers, it's Mark. I'm True Seeker and I'm in Soul 685 again. Just another picture. More of the same stuff. I'm going to show you statues that part of them are blurred. You know, it's like you look at this thing. How could this be made by nature? This thing is really cool. It's just, look at that. It's basically the silhouette of a man. And you can see the mouth, the eye, you can you see. Look at the elongated head. I mean, look at that. That is just, It's just amazing. To me, it's just amazing. I, I mean, I don't know how you viewers will look at it, but to me, as a researcher, this is the kind of stuff that I'm dying for NASA to leave in their pictures. You know, it's just the stuff that I want to see. You can see this at the edge of the picture. They blurred this. This looks like it's got all types of intricate carvings in it. And then there's this item right on the edge that's cut and cut off. This really caught me off. It just it really just got me I, immediately as soon as I looked at the picture. I mean, this looks like the face, maybe of a lady. Then here looks to be like some other type of carving. It looks like two arms or something coming out. Back here looks to be a skull. Look at that weird skull in the back. The shape of it. There would be the ears, the eyes. Look at the the shape of the jaw and the nose on it. Let me just look at this area. There's something sticking out up here. Here it looks to be like some type of piece of maybe bent metal. Here looks to be another shiny object. Then out of the whole area where the front of this is, look at how flat. It's like everything was pushed away. Or this was dug out as a grave. And then all of these stones and skulls and offerings were put on top of it. I mean, like I say, I believe a lot of that what we're looking at is graves with grave markers. And then you get this piece here that's supposed to look like a stone. But you could see where the eyes are and you could see the eyelashes that are carved into it. What are the chances of one eye being here, another eye, there's a piece in the center and those eyelashes with the mouth down here. Ask yourself, what are the chances of that? Look at it. You can see the eyelashes carved into it. And right in the center of the head. If that's not proof that there was something going on on Mars, I don't know what to tell anybody. I mean, look at this right next to it, the color of these objects. Just this alone, this is the kind of stuff I knew the closer we got to Sharp that you weren't going to be able to cover all this up. You see the way they blurred it? I mean, I, I just don't even know what's the use. I mean, I part of me believes that 
NASA wants us to see this. That this is just a slow, slow dribble. And then all of a sudden, someday, they're going to come out and say, yeah, well, you know, listen, we found something, you know, on Mars, and we, we had to keep it secret, you know, or national security, or, you know, whatever they want to call it. Part of me wants to believe that they're letting little dribs and drabs out. But I have no doubt in my mind that there is some type of life on Mars. And I'm not even talking about past, I'm talking about there's a, a bustling society. It's I believe we're just in an ancient area on Mars right now. You see pieces like this? See how they try to make it look like a rock? And then little things, even little things like this, they just put these blurs. And you can see all the intricacy in this. See where they blur it? you could just see it's just amazing this stuff is absolutely amazing to me there's no way in hell they're carving this by hand this is done by some type of machinery pretty advanced machinery alright guys I just wanted to show you that real quick seven minutes I got a couple other things coming a lot of amazing stuff out there that I found alright guys talk to you later